Yeah. These are starring roles. There are no adults to be found. We were the stars. What do you think, looking back at those old publicity shots? The white socks, the jeans, flannelette shirts. I, you know what? If I wear a T-shirt in a flannel open and jeans and, and slick my hair back, I, I'm, I definitely feel like Soda Pop Curtis's, you know, father. And when my kids wear that stuff, it's really freaky because my oldest son is exactly the same age I was when I got the part. In his stories I tell my friends, Lowe looks back on those early days where he was hoisted into the limelight at just 15 years of age. What about your Hollywood family when you were growing up? Martin Sheen, Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez. How much did that shape the man you are now? I learned a lot from the example of watching a, a pro actor um, and a great one, which Martin is. What was the best piece of advice you received in those days? I'm 17 years old. I've never been away from home. And I'm going on location for the first time to star in a movie. And I have nobody to talk to about it. So I go to Martin, and Martin sits me down, and is, we have our ice cream together in his kitchen, and he, and he, he walks me through what it's going to be like. And at the very end, he says, well, one last thing. Don't let Francis Ford Coppola talk you into doing anything you don't want to do. But on this, all Americans can agree. Excuse success. Me. Yes, sir. Were you doing me just then? I was offering an answer. Were you doing me? I may have slipped into it, yes. Anybody? Years later, when we end up together in the West Wing. Good evening, Mr. President. Did you have a good day? He's President good Bartlett, and I'm Sam Seaborn. I mean, there were days when I would just look at him and go, wow, the universe is an amazing place. It puts you where you really need to be. The West Wing might have resurrected Rob Lowe's career, but it was the years of wild partying that makes for interesting reading. How big were some of those nights? Pretty epic. Keith Richards wanted me to come hang with him, and even I thought, you know what, I want no part of Keith Richards. This is part of the pornographic videotape allegedly made by Lowe. The sex tape controversy you kind of skimmed over it in the book. Was that a conscious decision for you? The sex tape was just the pebble going into the water. The ripples that emanated from it to me are much more interesting and, and much more about who I, who I, I really am. I, I think my face said it all. I've been sober 21 years now. I was really ready. I'd really gotten to like the lowest point. And for me, that was when my grandfather was very, very ill. My mother really needed my help. And I was unable <coughs> to participate on any level because I was just, you know, out in the ether. And so that next morning, I decided I was done. That was it. And, and it's been it ever since. You got your act together. Did anybody have a word with Charlie back then? Charlie's been, you know, sober, not sober. He's, you know, he's, he's been one of the guys who's li lived it through different phases. Do you fear for Charlie at the moment, though? I think Charlie's going to be okay. I really do. I actually love his lack of hypocrisy, where he's like, look, this is my life, man. It's what I want to do. It's the way I live it. This is the way I roll. And I love him. And, and if he wants to try my way, he knows, he knows where I am. He knows how to get me. Yes, he does. Boy, it should be illegal to look that good, shouldn't it? Rob Lowe's book is out now. Well, next time